fountain blue is open. Okay, in a few hours for me, but already open for you guys by the time you're watching this. After many years in the making, the fountain blue has finally opened their doors and they brought a luxurious experience that is definitely worth the wait. And just wait till you see what's inside. purchased in the year 2000 even though construction didn't start until the year 2007 so this is kind of like 23 years in the making if you think about it it has 36 restaurants and lounges it has a nightclub convention center it's just there's places endless it looks huge from the outside and it's equally as big on the inside so with that said let's start exploring Lydia this way Of course, this is like the centerpiece of the whole casino. This is the amazing blue bar. I can see the bow ties yes, on the end of the chandelier. This is definitely the place to have some drinks, enjoy some music. Let's go in a little bit. Yeah, let's. Oh, look at their gold outfits. Wow. The bartenders even almost look like they're, like they work in a cruise ship or something. You can tell the drinks are gonna be fancy here. You found a menu. It's like telling the whole story. Okay, $19. $19 cocktails, that's about on par. $18. It's actually not that bad. I don't hate the prices, they're typical strip prices. It's definitely not cheap, but it's also not insane. I approve. We are about to come check out the front desk area. Oh, wow. Oh, this is, oh, I love this. This looks like a spaceship. Dude, look at the flowers are impeccable. Wow, I just want to smell all the roses. Let's do it. Oh, they smell so good. Uh, the tall girl leans down and the short girl goes <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, I should be the one going up here. This is a pretty big front desk for sure. Man, you have so much to choose from. You definitely have the bell desk right there, front desk, and then probably concierge over on that side. Ooh, let's check out what nice cars are in the valet. All right, here we go. Ooh, I don't want to go outside. Freezing. Ooh. Oh. Oh, there's a fountain. A fountain for the Fountain Blue. This is a very nice valet. All the nice cars pulling up here. It's a very pretty valet, and I did ask one of the employees, they said weekdays valet is $35, and weekends is 40. So expected valet prices for here in Vegas. It's cold, let's go back inside. Yes. The Fountain Blue 
open and everybody was very eager to start gambling right away. Do you think anybody's got a jackpot yet? Absolutely. Tonight. I saw Tyga. We just saw Cher too. That was Cher? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I miss Cher? Yeah. We got all the celebrities in the house tonight, so you Did never I get Cher in my video? <laughs> oh my God, right yeah. there. Girl, I was so busy looking at Tyga. I almost, did Cher and Tyga just walk by? I, know, I saw him, I saw him. <laughs> Very nice. I want to meet Cher. Cher? She's alive? <laughs> Anywho, let's keep going. What in the Whoa. heck is that? So I think we're in the convention center right now or something, but wow. wow. This is That looks huge. like a sunny side up egg. That looks like a chocolate wrapper where it's like, Silver oh, on yeah. the inside and gold on the outside. Are we hungry? <laughs> we probably are. Are we hungry? Okay, I think we need to eat. Yeah, let's eat something. Yeah. Guys, we really splurged here. Wow. We kind of did. How much was yours? Seven bucks. Yeah, the one carne asada taco was seven dollars. That's a lot of sauce on there. I did though ask uh, when I went to go get it, I was like, can I get some limes? I'm like, we don't do limes here. What? <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers, Well, <laughs> That's pretty saucy, boy. That's very saucy. I would hope if there's no lime. What is this? Is this like a cilantro? Cilantro, like maybe tomatillo salsa? Mm, good salsa. The salsa is like a little spicy, but lots of flavor. Woo! It's like a creamy salsa. Definitely wakes up your nostrils <laughs> a little bit. We honestly did go for the tacos though because <laughs> the pizza line and the burger line were super long. We're like, tacos it is. But the pizza was like strip prices. So like a cheese slice I think was like $5.95. A pepperoni wow. slice was $8.25 yeah. I believe. Yeah, that's pretty comparable. Burger's like 15 bucks too, it's not crazy. Honestly, I expected prices here to be somewhat elevated, but yeah, they're on par with some of the more upscale resorts like Aria, Cosmopolitan. But of course right now it is nighttime, so not every place is open, but they do have quite a bit of places here. They even have like a breakfast spot. Again, they have a burger, a pizza place. Uh, they do have like a Japanese area as well. So they have quite a few options here in the food hall in case if you don't feel like foraging for like a fine dining restaurant. All right, let's finish this taco, y'all. everyone so it's finally the next day we have a little bit of daylight and we're gonna keep on checking out more of the resort and i found a jaycation let's keep going feels like you were just here a few hours ago <laughs> so of course it is a casino so there's not really any windows so it kind of looks the same both day and night but we're gonna see if we can sneak into the pool so Unfortunately, the pool was still closed. However, though, they are supposed to have seven different pools, and I've seen pictures, they look really beautiful, and they are also gonna have a day club once the spring comes around, and so we already know that's gonna be a party all the time, and we're gonna be there, hopefully. Done. If, if they let us in. Bottle service on Norma. <laughs> So they're not all open yet. However, though, they are supposed to have a total of 35 retail shops and they all look like they're very high end. Definitely got to bring someone if you want to shop here. So of course it is the morning time now. So the bagel spot is finally open and it looks really good. It looks like they have a lot of breakfast options. They all look super good. Do even the bacon, egg and cheese one looks amazing. Which one would you try, Jay? Uh, the salmon lox for sure. Yeah, seriously, anything with the salmon or even the everything bagel looks really good too. But I think we should go have food somewhere else. So Dude. when are we gonna do a video here? Uh, super soon, hopefully. Poppy steak, cause I'm your daddy. Uh. <laughs> so yes, poppy steak, they do have one also in Miami. Something that they are known for is for their beef case, I think it's called, but it's a thousand dollar steak. And I think they, they do like a whole presentation, all the servers come around. I think there's like sparklers. I don't know, it just looks like insane. So yes, uh, one day we'll definitely have to get in there, get past that red rope. It's like bottle service, but with a steak. 
I actually would take the steak over bottles. Yeah, agreed. Oh, and then really quick, we do have the Blue Live Theater over here, which has about like 3,800 people that can fit in there. And the first performance is gonna be Post Malone on December 30th and 31st, so he's gonna be ringing in the new year for us. So it looks like they're still working on Live, uh, which is gonna be their nightclub, again, same as Miami. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty big. I mean, it's 50,000 square feet. So yes, we are ready to party. Right, Jay? Right, let's go. But yeah, I was just looking at their lineup and it looks like they're gonna have some pretty cool artists. And of course, it's just starting out, so you never know who's gonna join the roster. Can we eat now? Let's go. <laughs> I'm hungry. So we put our name on the list, but they said it's a 40 minute wait to have brunch. So I guess that just means one thing. We're not waiting, let's go. Drinks, dang it. Oh Drinks. yeah, let's do it. And since we're here at Fountain Blue, I think there's only one spot that we have to have our first drink at. You ready for a morning drink, Jay? Yes, yes, yes. You should get that. Can I get the Disco Bandit? And I'll have the Stranger, please. The Stranger, okay. Drinks are here. They're fancy. So we wanted to get two different signature cocktails here. Um, they're actually really nice. This first one right here is the Vanity Fair. That was going to have vodka, elderflower, lime, blueberry, cucumber, and soda water. So I got the Stranger with gin, disco, lemon, ube, and egg whites. He saw ube, he's like, I gotta do it. I, not, I don't blame him. It's not purple though. I know, that's what I was wondering actually. It's not purple. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this was so tangy. It's like a pisco sour lemonade. Really? Hint of ube. Hint, okay. That lemon feel really does it justice. When you put your nose up to it, you're like, lemon grove, baby. <laughs> Yes, and this is kind of like a blueberry lemonade as well. Nice. I love the bow tie napkins too. That's a cool touch. So again, the Fountain Blue does have a total of 36 restaurants, bars, lounges, and of course this is the main one, the one that's going to be the first thing you see as soon as you come in. And I did hear that they're going to have a speakeasy coming out soon, so we definitely have to visit that one day. So for the two drinks right here, it was $41. That's strip prices for you guys. However though, uh, our table is ready at brunch. Let's go. Holy wow, this place is super nice. For being a brunch restaurant. The light deco is really cool. It's like an atom. The bar? I like the bar. That, I'm a fan of the bar for sure. I'm always fan of the bars. Can I get the huevos rancheros? Uh, can I get the eggs benedict? Food's here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You guys know us, we had to try a little bit of variety. Uh, I had to get some huevos rancheros right here. Got some nice tortilla, looks like a little bit of meat on the inside. Really good eggs, sauce on the bottom. Eggs Benedict, I can smell that English muffin there. I like how the edges are like nicely fried up and crusted as well. Oh, uh, this is gonna be crunchy, guys. Ooh, Ooh that the yolk run there. It's gonna be a big bite. Oh my God, that's pretty good. That hits the spot right there. That first bite, mmm. Sourdough is pretty on point. So here at Vida, they are only open for basically brunch, so breakfast and lunch times. I believe they do close about 3 p.m. But yeah, overall it looks really nice. I am really excited to try some of these other restaurants. Like yesterday, I was able to get a little sneak peek into one of their steakhouses. And man, that place was so beautiful. They said that they had a lot of celebrities out there, but it was something about that bar. That bar, I, was, I would just love to come in, have an appetizer or two, get some drinks. I think their bars here are actually very beautiful. Everywhere in Fountain Blue, all of their bars are very nicely decorated. Again, 36 bars, lounges, and restaurants. It's gonna take us a while to get through all of them. But yeah, hopefully one day we get to see all the rooms. Again, they all look super nice. They even have really high-end suites called the Fleur de Lis suites. And those look super nice, and they have so many amenities that it's gonna come with. And the spa, the spa looks really amazing it as does. well. I think they have like co-ed sections. They have a salt room. Fitness yeah. center overlooks Las Vegas Boulevard. Oh, shoot. Yeah, looking forward to try that. But yeah, definitely lots to look forward to in Crown Blue. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Sugar Mommy G. <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was an adventure. That place, it's so big, I still get lost. Even though I've been here all of last night, a lot of this morning, 
I still don't know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of weaving in and out. But yeah, that was the opening of Fountain Blue. I hope you guys like it. Can't wait to see a lot more restaurants, a lot more bars. Excited for what's new to come here. So as always, guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get to Fountain Blue? Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. And they brought a luxurious experience to Las Vegas that is... <laughs> okay. And Jay is doing a <laughs> oh, we both got a pee. This is painful. This is painful, guys. As we're about to go in, I'm gonna like say like, where's your, oh shit, not Resorts World. Fountain Blue's open. <laughs> oh, shit, I almost tripped. Chandelier bar. Uh, no, that's hey, not called. Hold on. This thing is huge. Sorry. A little bit taller than you. <laughs> Was that Guns N' Roses? I did Charlie's Angels. Oh, I did, I did too. <laughs> Go like that. Okay. Is it recording? Sorry. Okay, right, okay. Wait, wait! <laughs> One, two, three. Wait, should we look at the menu first? Is it interactive? Is it? Nope, it's not. <laughs> not quite. <laughs>